From Wednesday night onwards, that's when we are concerned about the threat of thunderstorms. The Met Office do have a yellow warning in place, torrential downpours possible, lots of lightning as well. But there's quite a lot of uncertainty at this stage about the exact intensity of those storms and the exact location. Let's take a look at the bigger picture. There is this weather front sinking southwards, which will try and introduce cooler conditions across the north. But actually, we need to look further south. This rather innocuous looking area of low pressure heading up from Iberia across France and bringing with it heat and humidity, the key ingredients for thunderstorms in the summer months. That tracks across parts of the UK as we go through Wednesday night and into Thursday. And we could then see another little ripple, another pulse of hot and humid air and the potential for more storms during Friday. Now, as I said, there is quite a bit of uncertainty about timing and extent of these thunderstorms. And for the reasons behind that, we need to rewind the clock and look at the broader picture through Wednesday and see what's going on high up in the atmosphere with the jet stream. The jet stream is tending to dip to the south and it's this U-bend in the jet stream down across Iberia that's allowing that hot, humid air to get drawn northwards across Spain, France, towards the UK. However, what's creating this U-bend is in part related to what's going on even further afield uh, across the eastern seaboard of the US and Canada. And as this little ripple breaks away, that has uh, a downstream effect to the shape of that bend across Iberia. And that in turn create some uncertainty about the timing of the thunderstorms as they come northwards. So that is why there is some uncertainty and that's why the yellow warning as it stands is fairly large. Now not everywhere in this yellow zone is going to see torrential downpours. That is just the area most at risk at this stage. But of course we're still a couple of days away. So we'll fine tune these warnings over the next couple of days. But certainly in this zone where we see thunderstorms expect torrential rain, uh, significant lightning strikes and gusty winds, all of which could cause some disruption.